Sora recently announced that you can get a specific five star resonator through the beginner's convene banner after pulling 80 times. Once you pick your five star character, the banner will close. The standard five star resonators to pick from are the following Shan Xin, whose element is Aero and uses the Gauntlets as her weapon, Ling Yang, whose element is Glacio, who will also be using the Gauntlets, Encore, whose element is Fusion and she'll be using the Rectifier, Kalcharo, whose element is Electro and will be using the Broadblade, and finally Verina, whose element is Spectro and will be using the Rectifier. Just a note to add on when you're picking your character, keep in mind the weapon they are using as it will be crucial to know what weapon types in the future that you need when pulling on weapon banners and going for the end game rewards. Just to make you all aware, the information I have found are based on closed beta tests and have potential to change on release day. For most teams that you are wanting to build, especially this early on, I suggest you have a slot for healer. I feel this will give you no worries in making mistakes when fighting up against bosses or going through the dungeons, or even progressing through the story. By all means, if you think you're confident enough to go into fights without even having a healer, or you want a challenge, then replace them with either a sub DPS or a support character. Ryzu will be your go to standard 4 star healer, that is, until you get Verina, who will instantly replace her in your team as she is just a better version of Baizu. Before going into further detail on each of these characters, you should ultimately pull on what you want and not necessarily go for the characters that might be the most meta or that will end up carrying you through the end game. Whatever character you enjoy the look of or the play style of is the one you should be pulling for. Verona is a Spectra character who uses Rectifier as her weapon. As we've said, she is going to be your healer in a team, so you will need to pick a DPS or a sub DPS character to go with her. Personally, I would use a Jin as my main DPS, as in the beta, her damage was just too good to not have her as your DPS. Chances are she will be nerfed on release, so make sure you look things up before investing into her. From what I've seen, you can kind of run whoever as your sub DPS with Jin. but if I was to pick one or two, it would be Talki on release as she will be able to take advantage of Dan Jin's outro skill, which will increase all Havoc damage done. Or Yin Lin, as she's just a very good sub DPS on her own. Galchara is an electric character who uses Broadblade for his weapon. He's going to be the main DPS for your team, as he can hit crazy combos when using him in his armed slaughter state. Mortify will be a solid choice to have, as his outro skill will increase heavy attack damage, but Yin Lin will quickly replace him once she releases, as her outro skill will provide an electro damage bonus. If you like just going all in and flaring attacks Kirito style, then Kaltura will be the choice of you. Chan Chin is an arrow character who uses the gauntlets as her weapon. She will be your support or sub DPS in the team. You will want to partner her up with characters that can deal a lot of damage with their liberations so that her auto skill can be effective. An example of this can be Chichia and Rova. Lin Yang is a Glacio character main DPS who uses gauntlet for his weapon. Sanoa's outro ability can be great to match with him as her outro skill can increase the basic damage output for 14 seconds. I think Ling Yang is designed really well and hit me pretty hard with the feels in the, his video showcase. Ankur is a fusion DPS character who uses Rectify as her weapon. As there's currently no fusion outro skills to help benefit her, it's hard to put her into a team that will take advantage. Rover is going to be your best option here as their outro skill is going to put it at a time slowing field to where Ankur can dash out her harder hitting attacks. When it comes down to give you an answer on choosing your 5 star guarantee, there are a few options. Firstly, you should go for the character that you enjoy the look of or that fits your playstyle so that you can enjoy the game every time you play as them. If you wanted to look at how all the characters are like in the game, then you could just search them up on YouTube as there are many videos showing this, or you can look at their showcases when they arrive. If you wanted to go for the meta route or the safest route that most whales are going to be going for is Verina. She just gives so much healing capabilities when it comes to her ultimate and outro skill to keep your team alive and that will help massively when it comes to progression or hitting the end game. The last option is going to be a choice between Encore or Kalcharo. Firstly I'll be going for Kalcharo as once Yinling comes I'll be able to have great synergy between them both as they pair nicely together where their outro skills and their damage output join together. For Encore, she's a good character on her own, but it's hard to say when a character with some good fusion synergy will come in the future bonus. Hopefully you found this video helpful to you. Who are you most excited to be using? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to follow me over on my Twitch as I will be streaming all day and all night on the full release of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.